Today's video is all about the Sandpiper Cove experience. So grab your flippy floppies, let's get into it. What is going on? It is Andrew with the Emerald Group right here in Destin, Florida. Listen, if you're trying to figure out everything there is to know about Destin and the surrounding areas, you've come to the right channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tickle that little bell so that you'll be notified every single time we do a new video. Listen, we're getting a lot of text, emails, and phone calls every single day of people wanting to move right here to our area. And I can't really blame them, but if that sounds like you and you are curious about moving to this area, even a little bit, then go ahead and reach out to us in your favorite method, phone call, email, carrier pigeon, smoke signal, text. It's all on the screen. But for now, let's get into Sandpiper Cove. Sandpiper Cove is actually a resort community on Holiday Isle, right smack dab in the middle of Destin. This monstrous 43 acre resort has a lot to to offer so be sure to stick around until the end because we've got quite a lot to show you. Let's start on the Gulf side of the complex because well who doesn't like seeing our powder white beaches right? Sandpiper Cove has 1,100 feet of private beach frontage. That's pristine front row view to the Gulf of Mexico. That means it's 1,100 feet of our sugar white sands, 1,100 feet of pure bliss. So grab your towels, your hat, your glasses, and most importantly your sunscreen and enjoy a day relaxing by the beach and maybe even make a new friend while you're out there. Now don't worry if you are on the north side of the complex there is a crosswalk and a beach path that take you directly to the fun. And the best part is the entire path is paved all the way to the sand so if you're bringing maybe a cooler in a wagon it makes it a little bit easier. There is a beachside snack bar and pavilion in case you need to get away from the heat for a little bit or maybe to hide from our occasional little thunderstorms that we do have here. The name of that is Rick's Sand Trap Beach Bar and Grill. I know it's a mouthful but it's got a great little menu to help you fuel back up after the heat takes its toll. Sandpiper Cove also offers a heck of a lot more. One of my favorite things is a nine hole three par course. So grab your pitching wedge and your putter and go have some fun. There are also five, and yes I said that right, five swimming pools in this entire complex with three different hot tubs as well. And for those of you looking for a great workout, you can either walk Holiday Isle, you can jump over to the beach and get a good workout just walking our beach, or of course you can step on over to the tennis courts if you've got a friend to maybe play some tennis with. Now there are six different tennis courts, three of which are lighted, so if you are playing a little bit into the wee hours of the night, at least you can still finish up your game. Now if you prefer to spend your time on the water, but not actually on the Gulf side, Sandpiper has its own boat launch and boat slips available, so you can walk right up to your boat and take off into our beautiful waters. Now just a quick 12 to 15 minute cruise right up the canal will get you to our infamous Crab Island and Noriega Point. All right, now I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't discuss the real estate opportunities right here in Sandpiper Cove. This is a resort style community, but please keep in mind that most of the condos are actually owned by individual people, not a large company. So please keep that in mind whenever you're staying in one of these units, they are normally an investment for an actual person instead of a company. So try to take care of it while you're there. There are quite a few condo options here at Sandpiper and they range everywhere from a studio around 500 square feet. That's gonna feel a little bit more like a hotel room. So it's zero bedrooms. Everything is kind of in one space and that's gonna go all the way up to a four bedroom room three bath villa. That's kind of the biggest ones that they have here at Sandpiper Cove. Now the studios here in Sandpiper Cove have ranged from about 167,000 all the way up to about 180,000 in price. Now this includes all of the sales in the past six months and keep in mind we're shooting in June of 2021. So if you want updated pricing, just give us a ring. Surprisingly, the one bedroom actually had a lower past sale price at 165,000, but they have been all the way up to about 475,000 in the last six months. The big difference there is one of them being in in the complex on the north side with no view versus one with a gulf view. You're obviously gonna pay a lot more to be able to see that beautiful Gulf of Mexico every day when you wake up. Now the two bedrooms have ranged from 265,000 to 305,000 and the three and four bedroom units are actually a little bit more rare in this complex and they start around 290,000 and they can go all the way up to about 700,000 again in the last six months. Now a lot of people invest in these properties to rent them out short term. What you can expect there is you can either get a property manager to do it for you or you can get the on-site staff to handle that for you as well. Or of course, you can do it on your own. So if you are curious about picking up a vacation condo here for investment purposes, give us a shout, we got you covered. And one of my favorite things about Sandpiper Cove as a resort is that the entire place is dog friendly. But that doesn't necessarily mean each individual condo is dog friendly. So if you are bringing your four-legged friend, make sure you let whoever you know that you
you rented it from that you've got a pup so they can make sure that you are in a puppy friendly condo. And another great bonus to this on top of the fact that it is a guarded gated community is they also have rental staff on site. This is great for your renters if you are renting this out as a vacation home because your renters can go on site, go in there and grab the key, get straight into their condo and start their vacation. All right, now we're into my favorite part of the entire complex and that is that there is a full restaurant on site. I know we talked about the beach bar and grill on the Gulf side. There's actually a full restaurant right there in the complex and it's a very popular one here in our area. The name of that restaurant is Louisiana Lanyap. Go and look it up on TripAdvisor, wherever else you want. They're always winning awards out there because they are that good. As I mentioned, there is a lot to cover about Sandpiper Cove and I know I went through a lot of that fairly quick. So what we're going to go ahead and do is put a bunch of the extra footage that we got with some nice soft music. Please keep in mind, if this was helpful to you, even just like a little tiny bit, go ahead and hit that like button, turn it blue for us. It really helps us, helps the algorithm out. We really appreciate it. And if you've stayed here before or have any comments on this area, please go ahead and put it down in the comments. We absolutely love talking to every single one of you and hearing about your experiences. Well, that's all I've got for you this week. See ya. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, she's got it. Uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh...